Another one of Az's favorite games. Oh, which still has not made its money back. Alan mm. Wake 2. Alan Woke. Alan Woke. Yeah, Alan Woke 2. The game's so bad that Mauler and I both gave up. Couldn't finish it. Couldn't do it. Could not do it. But they've uh, provided another sales update, and they are saying that it has made one point eight million, or sold one point eight million copies. Now that sounds like a lot, but when you consider how much they would have needed to make to make uh, profit, it's not really that much. And it goes to what As was just talking about. In like, yeah, when you're investing in these ideas or general concepts, you have to be very careful. If you want that to be a profitable venture, that's all on, you know, getting more money than you put into it. So when you sink all these costs in like a video game and such, that is uh, going to be a little more obscure. Um, cause again, not sure why they went the direction they did without, with Alan Wake, uh, and having that second protagonist the way yes, that they did. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Well, well, the second protagonist was Alan Wake because it was all about fucking. Well, yeah, Sarah it wasn't. Yeah, exactly. Um, but just an overall bizarre thing to do. Um, not one that I think a reasonable person would expect to get a return, right? And it didn't. And um, this is what I did want to talk about. Uh, share that Control Two uh, will be an action RPG. Interesting. So they're going to do another Control. But here's the thing where it got interesting, okay? During a uh, Q&A presentation, Remedy CEO uh, was questioned about what he thought about the sales for Alan Wake 2. Okay. And this is what he said. Mm -hmm. This is quite interesting, coming mm -hmm. from CEO. Um, it says, I think Alan Wake 2, the sales have two sides. When you got to set it up like that, Holy something went wrong. On the On one hand... When the game is not yet profitable, are we happy? We are not happy. So he answers his own question. Every game that we make, especially with this quality level, going to what I just said, they should be profitable faster. But what, at, then at what, the same what quality is he talking about, though? Does the game look good? Looks beautiful. It's a really beautiful looking game, Alan Work 2. Is the writing quality? No, it was fucking terrible. <laughs> Absolutely fucking appalling. Was the were the characters um, quality? Well, people wanted to buy an Alan Wake too. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, uh, Eric, but uh, there's a hint in the fucking title about who the protagonist should be. And uh, so people have been waiting fucking how many years? Uh, 11, 12, 13 years, whatever it was. It was, was. A, while, it was a while ago. And for yeah, Alan Wake came for out. an Alan Wake 2. And what did they get? They got Race Change Saga Anderson. But then at the same time, the sales of mm. Alan Wake 2 have quite been in line with our original estimates. Oh, this fuck. Is no, they haven't. No, they haven't. If they have, you are a terrible CEO. Yes. Yes. Because you said, are we happy it's not profitable? No. Yeah. But that's what your projection was, according to you. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Come on, man. Come on, man. Shut, you're selling this bullshit. Shut, shut up. I get it, man. It's a morale thing. You're CEO. You're, you're kind of the representative there, right? I get that. But, you, I mean, you that didn't make any sense. <sighs> You can't have one no. side be like, we are not happy. You answered the question. You said, are we asked you, you asked and then you answered. You said, are we happy? We are not happy. But it's in line with what we expect. What? We expect this game to be a failure. We expected not to make our money back. And the, the window, the opportunity window to make it profitable. It's closed now. That's for sure. It's long gone. <laughs> it says, yes, our productions didn't quite work as well as they do today a few years back. In a way, we ended up over investing. <laughs> I don't see how you could say that they've been in line with your original estimates if you're then saying that you over invested. In a way, we ended up over investing, investing more into the game, and therefore the part uh, set has been higher. You could so save some money by not hiring Sweet Baby Inc. Uh, that would have helped a lot. Investing more into the game, and therefore the part set has been higher. So, with the higher part set, this is in a way forecast its sales that we have followed hasn't yet been enough to equal the development cost and you're not going to get there if you didn't get there now you had your chance you missed yeah. your boat yeah Th this is how it's how it is with those things you're going to generally get your sales 
um, almost immediately. Once you hit that, once I mean, yeah, people are going to continue to buy games and stuff, but that's your that's your window. Once oh, you wait, miss oh, it, man. once you miss that window, it's gone. It's like what what is Alan Wake two going to get some just random surge like three years from now for what? Why would that happen? People wanted to play an Alan Wake two game. They wanted Alan Wake returning. They wanted they wanted to see what was going to go on at Bright Falls. They wanted to see what the next sort of iteration of this Twin Peaks esque franchise was was going to deliver and it and it delivered dei and esg and people went i'll oh, just just fuck off right that's that's what it delivered john i believe wrote it brought brings up a great point here where it says that basically in the past 10 months it sold around only sold half a million units I mean, I'm just looking at it from what could get sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and Steam would get some sales. How many? I don't know. But but where else are the fucking sales going to come from? God. An epic an epic store sale? Uh, not really. Uh, a, a, re- a reduction in the console. It's, 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 it's already it's already on sale in uh his, at, for discount at uh in the epic. So that's not. Well, that's, that's just not it. But if if people have got consoles, what they're doing? They're buying it fucking second hand for fuck's sake. Right. Not buying it brand new. Right. So if it's going to be a fresh sale, which goes into their coffers, then it's got to be a digital sale. True. Which is which has got to be Steam or Epic Good Store. Point. Epic Store's not happening. And I, I if it's got 1.8 million sales in in uh, 13 months, uh, I could see this being around in three or four years, uh, probably 2.1, 2.2 tops. Okay. Which still makes it a non-profitable game. A oh, very non-profitable game. Yeah. Good luck to uh, those guys over there. And uh, I don't think you're getting Alan Wake 3. Um, uh, n- <laughs> no. That's, that is what is very frustrating for fans. I fucking loved Alan Wake, the uh-huh. first game. It is fucking brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It was a great story. It was really atmospheric. Um, there were some wonderful little Twilight Zone nods, Twin Peak nods, all the, you know... So th- these genres sort of mixing in, uh, meshed kind of, you know, you got a little bits of Max Payne sort of mm-hmm. uh, hint, hints. You know, th- there was like... It was Easter it was, eggs. Yeah, it was cold as fuck. And uh, I still have in storage uh, a, a sealed 360 collector's Alan Wake edition. I love it. And uh, there was a lot of expectation. There was a... Uh, because Alan Wake didn't sell back in the day how they wanted it to sell either. But it got such a, a cult following and a fan following, and it seemed to do pretty well in, in Steam sales that gave it momentum that, that eventually they greenlit the sequel, mm-hmm. which which gave fans like myself so much like, fuck yes! It's like that moment when Shenmue got its third, oh, when it man. got crowdfunded to get its third, and, and it was just like, it was such a feel-good moment. And and so to hear Alan Wake 2 is getting its sequel, you're just like, fuck yes! Particularly with the way that it ended and Alan being trapped and all this kind of stuff. And what do we get? We get D.I.E. fucking Blackface Saga. That is a, that is a spit in the face. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. 